reader? Hey, hey! Our parking spot! What a ship! The Golden Guppy. She's made of pure gold. Let's go meet the captain! I don't think there is a captain, Sam. Nope. Whistling whiskers! A map! Hmm. Only Wordville is on here. Lions are on the map! I bet the Golden Guppy is from the land where lions roam free. Let's see if this ship knows its way home. Hmm. To find the land where the lions roam free, take my map and find my lost books. If we can't get Reader Rabbit's dream ship, perhaps we can get this ship! <laughs> Pirates! Oops. Arg. Hurry, Sam! Let's find those books! Don't forget me. I'm here to help. And Chester can carry all the books we find. Sure thing, Paige. Well, according to the map, our adventure starts here in Wordville. Let's sail out of here! Not yet! I'm not done packing! Looks like this gopher family wants to teach us about word families. What's a word family? They're words that have the same spelling pattern at the end. All the words in a word family will rhyme. For example, some words in the at word family are hat, cat, and met. Here's another word family. Let's make some words in the IP family. Add R at the beginning and you get the word RIP. Change the R to O and you get LIP. Change the O to SH and you get SHIP. Here's one more word family. Um. Add ba and you get bump. Change the b to j and you get jump. Change the j to st and you get stump. Here's another word family. Ack. Add a p and you get pack. Change the p to sn and you get snack. Change the sn to b and you get back. How many shirts does one lion need? A hundred million seventy-four would be good. Sam, I don't think that many will fit in your suitcases. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to start packing.
Leaping lions! This green shirt I'm wearing will never do! Uh, Sam? All your shirts look exactly the same. They're all green. They may look the same to you, reader, but some are more similar than others. You'll see. Well, to take all those shirts, you'll need to pack smart. Let's make sure we fill each part of your suitcase with three neatly folded shirts. Yeah, and we can make sure that the three shirts in each part are similar. Let's find three shirts with the same short vowel sound. Put shirts with the short E sound, as in bed, here. Put shirts with the short I sound, as in sit, here. Put shirts with the short A sound, as in cat, here. Matt! Matt! Whoops! We haven't finished picking all three shirts for that part yet. Yes. Let. Yes. Matt. In. Bet. Three wash and wear shirts ready to go. Ran. Did. Matt has great packing in big did packed and ready oh I'm gonna look handsome in these time to do a little more packing let's find three shirts with the same short vowel sound put shirts with the short a sound as in cat here. Put shirts with the short I sound, as in sit, here. Put shirts with the short O sound, as in hot, here. Got. Odd. On. There you go, Sam. Three green shirts. Map. If, if, hat, ah, wrinkle-free is what I like, lip, will, if, all right, another full suitcase, another suitcase, this time, let's go for green, let's find three shirts with the same short vowel sound, put shirts with the short a sound as in cat here put shirts with the short i sound as in sit here put shirts with the short u sound as in cup here but us is fan fun Three wash and wear shirts ready to go. <laughs> Face. That. Bag. Put your... Mm -hmm. Those three don't all sound similar. Face. Is Fan Great packing Face Ship It That's not quite right Face Face Is Roaring raspberries One suitcase ready to go Galloping galoshes! Do you see what I see? A newspaper! Just what the Golden Guppy lost! Golden! Wordville! Landed! The Wordville News! Odd Ship in Wordville! By Ryder Rabbit!
Listen to, then repeat each study word. Golden, Wordville, Landed, Critters, Where, Reader, About, Want, Lions, Pirates, Ratbeard. Where did this ship come from? A big golden ship has landed in Wordville. We ran there to find out more. Here is what some critters said about the ship. Matt said, Yes, we saw the golden ship land. We had to find out where the ship was from and who was on it. Reader and I got on the ship, said Sam. No one was there, but we did find a map. Sam saw that there were lions on the map. This ship must be from the land where lions run free. What a fun land that must be. The ship is lost, Matt said. But who lost it? The pirates had more to say about the ship. That ship was sent to Wordville for us, said Ratbeard. We want it, if you will let us have it. Now, Reader and Sam plan a trip to find out who lost the golden ship. Get out your super high-powered detective gear. It looks like we've got a mystery to solve. What's the mystery, Sam? The answer to this question. It's hidden somewhere in this book, and we need to click on it to find it. Who got on the ship in Wordville? Reader and I. Great work, Sam! We've answered the question. Look, reader, we've got another question to answer. Great. Let's look through these pages for the answer. What did they find on the ship? Lions. Nope, I don't think that's the answer. Map. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Here's the question, Sam. Well, I'm ready to flip through these pages when you are. What was on the map? Lions. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. Oh, boy. Another question to answer. Where does Sam think the ship is from? The land where lions run. Free. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. I sure learned a lot about the Golden Guppy. I'm going to look so good on our trip. Reader, you ready? Not yet, Sam. We can't leave until I find the book we need from my basement. Well, hurry up. I'm going to stay right here and dream about my dream come true. Ah. <sighs> Hi, Lyle. I'm looking for a special book. You're in luck. I know this basement inside and out. But I must warn you, the book bats are back. And you know how they like to take us down when we need to go up. Don't worry. We can handle those book bats. Excellent. Let me know when to stop spinning and I'll give you the first rule. You can follow my rule by selecting a matching book in this stack. You got it! Lyle, 
wheel's still spinning. We've got to make him stop so he'll tell us the first rule. Find a word in the awk word family, like rock. That's right! Find a word in the ox word family, like pox. Box. Yes! Find a word in the an word family, like pan. Land. That's not the right book. Remember, we want to find a book that follows Lyle's rule. Can. Yes, indeed! Ah, that book bat flew down, and we want to get to the top of the basement. Find a word in the uck word family, like truck. Muck. That's the one! Oh no! We've lost some ground! Find a word in the app word family, like nap. Map. That's right! Find a word in the est word family, like west. Rest. Yes! Find a word in the L word family, like fell. Yes, indeed! Find a word in the at word family, like fat. Find a word in the at hat. That's the one! A book bat that took us up in the right direction. Find a word in the ilt word family, like built. Wilt. That's right! Find a word in the app word family, like nap. If we want to hear the rule again, find a word in the app word family, like nap. Tap. Yes! Find a word in the ilt word family, like built. Wilt. Yes, indeed! Find a word in the ill word family, like fill. Quill. That's the one! Scaling new heights. Find a word in the add word family, like bad. Mad. That's right. <laughs> Bouncing bunnies. A comic book. I need to read this before we leave Wordville. Listen to, then repeat, each study word. Oh! Really? Someone. Tuft. Until. Jumped. Slam! Oh no! My hut! Pop! Oh good! I landed on top! I must tell someone and get help. Help! My hut fell. Tuft, just sit still until you pass the log. Then jump. I will do the best I can. Drip. Drip. Oh, I am all wet. It really bugs me when I wilt. Sob. I did not like that. I am glad 
to stand on land. That hop was the best. You jumped like a frog. Tuft, the hut. How will I get my hut back on the hill? How should Bud and Tuft get the hut back on the hill? Pouncing Panthers, we get to finish this comic. And check it out. Not only can we draw the picture, we can move the bubbles and type words in them. Reader, this is going to be sensational. You bet it is, Sam. This comic book panel is a work of art. Wow, that was as good as the Sunday comics. Well, Sam, are we ready to go? Are we ever? Adventure is calling. We've got what we need. Let's board the dream ship and head to the land where the lions roam free. Ready, reader? You bet! Look! A new land has appeared on the map! Leaping lions, let's go! Before landing, we need to find five words with a specific short vowel sound. The vowels A, E, I, O, and U can make different sounds. The sound they make in most three-letter words is the short vowel sound, like a in cat, e in bed, or a in hot. Okay, let's find a word with a, like in cat. Cap. Yes! Let's find a word with e, like in bed. Ten. That's it! Let's find a word with I, like in sit. Let. Try again! Let's find a word with I, like in sit. Win. Oh, yeah! Let's find a word with A, uh, like in hot. Pot. That's right! Let's find a word with a, uh, like in cup. Nut. Yes! It's time to fly the dream ship. I'm okay, Sam. We need to Let's find a word. Let's find a word with a, ah, like in cat. Man. Oh, yeah! Let's find a word with 
e like in bed. Pet. That's right. Let's find a word with e, like in sit. Fit. Yes. Let's find a word with a, uh, like in hot. Box. That's it. Let's find a word with a, uh, like in cup. Sun. Oh yeah. Shouldn't you be searching for the land where lions roam free? Yes, but I had to come back and collect a few more things for the adventure. Find a word in the ut word family, like gut. Well, let's sail the friendly skies. The dream ship flies on word power, and we're not going anywhere without it. So, move that throttle to the correct words, and we'll be on our way. We can do that, can't we, Reader? Of course we can. Before we land, we need to find five words with a certain consonant cluster. What's a consonant cluster? It's when two consonants are side by side in a word, and the sounds of the letters blend together. Listen for the sound of both the F. And the L at the beginning of the word flat. Consonant clusters can also be at the end of a word, like in the word rest. You hear the sound of both the S and the T at the end of the word. Okay, let's find a word that starts with the full sound, like flag. Frog. Guess not. Let's find a word that starts with the full sound, like flag. Flip. Oh yeah. Let's find a word that ends with a nd sound, like hand. Wind. That's right. Let's find a word that starts with a gr sound. Like grape, grin. Yes. Let's find a word that ends with a mp sound, like jump. Camp. That's it. Let's find a word that starts with a st sound, like stick. Stop! Oh, yeah! Just think, reader! This land could be the land where lions roam free! I might need another lion! Oh, how does my mane look? Never look better, Sam! So, where are the lions? Well, I see dandelions, Sam. Dandelions? I don't want to see dandelions roaming free. I want to see real lions, just like me. Don't worry. Our adventure's just beginning. You're right. Maybe we'll find some books for the Golden Guppy. Let's explore. I've heard about these dandelions. They just love consonant clusters. What's a consonant cluster? It's when two consonants are side by side in a word, and the sounds of the letters blend together. Take S and T, put them together, and what do you have? St. Here's st. Now add up. Put them together, you get the word stop. And ep. That makes the word step. St. And ik. That makes stick.
consonant clusters can also be at the end of a word. Let's start with S and T. Again, at the end of a word, they still make the st sound. Put fa in front of st. Together, they make the word fast. Be and st best. La and st lost. Oh, another consonant cluster. M and P. Together, they make the sound mp. Ka and mp make camp. Ba and mp bump. Here's one more with a consonant cluster at the beginning and end of the word. St. A. Mp stem. Whoa! The dandelions in Peacemont are nuts for peace nuts. Well, Sam, let's get to work catching the nuts in these baskets. How do we know which basket to catch them in? Catch them in the basket that makes a complete word. It looks like the falling peace nut has the beginning part of a word. And the ending part of the word is on a peace nut already in the basket. Right. So all we need to do is catch the nut with the beginning of the word in the basket that has the ending of the word. Roaring raspberries! Here they come! Twist Truck Glad. Truck. Twist. Glad. Great work! That's right! Trip Twin Gloss Trip Twin Gloss We've got a word! One leaf platter down, two to go. Prom. Snap. Bran. Snap. Bran. Prom. All right. Guess not. Snip. Press. Nourishing nuts. This one's done. Plant. We need a different... Clam. Still, clam, plant, still, 
We've got a word! One day, Snap said, Clem, let's go on a trip to see the kelp forest and the sunken ship. With a twist and a spin and a flop and a flip, Clem Clam said, let's go, and he did a backflip. Snap gave a glad snip, and they sped to the kelp. But on their way there, Clem Clam called out, Snap, help! Here I come, said the crab. Just stop and stay still. With a sad sniff, Clem said, I am stuck, so I will. Snap swam to the clam and saw he was stuck in a slick sea plant. Clem Clam had bad luck. The sea plant was big. It had Clem in its grip. Snap went up to the plant and gave it a snip. Clem slid out of the trap with a twist and a flip, and the two sea pals went on with their trip. Okay, let's get typing. I think I want to be a writer when I grow up, Sam. I like to write. That poem was the best. Hi, I'm Reader Rabbit, and this is Sam the Lion. Oh, I'm a lion too. A dandy lion. Pleased to meet you, Dandy. <laughs> I, I, I was kind of hoping to meet a lion who looks like me. You mean like the ones in the land where lions roam free? You've been there? I blew through there last summer. Hey, I wish I could tell you more, but I'm
I'm busy building walls with my friends. We'll help you. Really? Okay. Just match up planks that have the same ending sound. Then, put them into the matching spots in the wall. All right! Let's get building! Okay. Find three planks with the same ending sound. Put planks that end with a nt sound, like tent, right here. Put planks that end with a st sound, like test, right here. Put planks that end with the ult sound, like belt, right here. Front. Oops. We haven't finished choosing all three planks for that spot yet. Jolt. Mist. Plant. Fast. Bent. Bolt. Mist. Jolt. Elf. Fast. Felt. All right! One section is complete. Fast. Thump. Missed. Help. Thank. Rest. Wow! What a great wall! It's time to do some more building. Okay, find three planks with the same ending sound. Put planks that end with a nd sound, like lend, right here. Put planks that end with a op sound, like help, right here. Put planks that end with a mp sound, like dump, right here. Help. Help. Great building. Clamp. Scent. Clamp. And. Thump. Find. Camp. Find. And. Land. Woohoo! We did it! Another wall! Bring on the planks! Okay. Find three planks with the same ending sound. Put planks that end with a unk sound, like trunk, right here. Put planks that end with a nd sound, like lend, right here. Put planks that end with a grand song. Plank. Wind. Honk. Sand. All right! One section is complete. Skunk. Song. Plank. Kelp. Honk. Great building! Bent. Sang. Bump. Bent. Sang. Cold. Missed. Song. Cord. Kelp. Rang. There you go, Dandy. Another wall's ready.
Wow! Check it out! It's someone's journal! I wonder how that got there. My journal. Listen to, then repeat, each study word. Today. Cheese. Through. Peacemont. Places. Fixing. Thanked. Day 1. Today, I went on my ship to find a new land. There was a lot of wind, and my ship went very fast. But then, I felt a jolt. Bam! Some cheese fell on the deck of my ship. Bam! That one hit with a thump. The pirates were up to their old tricks. A chunk of cheese sent my ship into a spin. Down we went. The ship hit the cold water. Through the mist, I could see land. Then, with a thud, the ship hit the sand. Day 2. I set up a camp. When the sun was up, I saw two little green plants. One plant saw me and said, You have landed in Peacemont. The plants were called Bud and Tuft. I spent all day with them. We picked nuts. We made a hut out of kelp we got from the sea. We sang songs. Peacemont is grand, I said, but I must fix my ship. Bud and Tuft said they would help. Day 3. The front of my ship had a dent in it. The mast was bent in two places. Bud and Tuft got a cord, a clamp, a bolt, and some planks. Fixing the ship was a hard task, but we did it. I thanked the little plants. Then a big gust of wind came up. My ship and I were off. Come back to Peacemont when you can, Bud said. Whoa! It's a whole mess of words, reader. What do you think we should do with them? Clean them up, a little at a time, by choosing one from each section. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Ice cream. Great word. Motorcycle. Squish. Crookedly. Let's turn the page. Silly and Sally. Eight. Sharks. Sad. Silly. Wow, that was interesting. We should keep journals, Sam. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hop on out of here. Are you kidding? Let's go! That was a peaceful place. Yeah, but there weren't any lions like me roaming free. No, but our adventure isn't over yet. Look, Sam, a new land is showing on the map. Let's hit it! We can't land until we find five words with a special sound. Sometimes when two consonants appear together in a word, they make a new sound that is different 
than either of the consonants. The word ship is spelled S-H-I-P. But you don't hear the S and H sounds of the S and H. Instead, the S and H make a new sound. Shh. Okay, let's find a word with ch, like in chin or lunch. Let's find a word with ch, like in chin or lunch. Chop. That's right. Let's find a word with sh, like in shoe or cash. Chip. Nope. Let's find a word with sh, like in shoe or cash. Ship. Yes. Let's find a word with th, like in three or tooth. Thin. That's it. Let's find a word with w. Like in whale. Whip. Oh, yeah! Let's find a word with ch. Like in chin or lunch. Let's find a word with the same special consonant sound as Reader said. Let's find a word with ch, like in chin or lunch. Rich. That's right. I'm making a wish, reader, that this next land be full of lions roaming free, just like the golden guppy. That's a great wish, Sam. I'm wishing that the pirates are staying away from the golden guppy. Who goes there? Uh, hi, hi, I'm Sam the Lion, and this is Reader. Ha! Don't make me laugh. I'm Rex the Lion, and I rule harmony. Well, uh, a lion fish, maybe, but you're not a lion like me. Can you swim? Can you breathe through your gills? I don't think so. Well, do you have a fluffy mane? Lions have fluffy manes, you know. Come on, Sam. We have a couple of books to find. I am a lion. Hear me roar! Rex may have a louder roar, but my mane is definitely bigger. Look at that. There's a consonant on each one of those sand dollars. S, P, and O. Put them all together and they blend into the sound spool. The sound spool is very handy for making lots of different words. Watch. We'll start with spool, then add it. And we get split. <laughs> or we'll start with spool and add ash. We get splash. The sea stars have another fabulous consonant cluster. You've arrived in harmony on the most important day of the year. Really? 
What's that? My birthday. These loyal crabs are getting ready for the royal celebration. And I've decided that they should all be costumed in decorative words. The words I, the great king, command them to wear. Brother. I've only the tiniest problem. I don't know how to read the words, but I do like the way they look. We can read. Well then, I command you to spell the words I say by selecting letters in the correct order from the fish swimming above. Put the next crab in the word chat. Chat, a fine-looking crab. He can sit at my table. This little crab should wear the word with. This crab must wear the word with. With. Nice outfit. I think this crab would look stunning in the word ship. Ship. Another designer crab. This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word rich? Put the next crab in the word rich. Rich. That crab is looking good. This little crab should wear the word whack. Whack. Another one ready for the party. This crab must wear the word cash. Cash. That crab looks sharp. I think this crab would look stunning in the word chunk. Chunk, a fine-looking crab. He can sit at my table. This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word trash? Trash. Nice outfit. Put the next crab in the word shock. Shock. 
shock. Another designer crab. This little crab should wear the word dash. Dash. That crab is looking good. Whistling whiskers. It's what we've been looking for. Let's read it. The Wordville News. A Chat with the Pirates by Ryder Rabbit. Listen to, then repeat each study word. Around. Thought. Rope. Buy. Should. Try. Own. Because. Again. Riley. Yow. These pirates wish they had a new ship. The golden ship is still in Wordville. That gang of pirates has been hanging around the ship for days. We thought we should have a chat with the rats. We found them by the golden ship. One was chomping on the rope that held the ship to the dock. One was tossing a rope up onto the deck. Ratbeard was on the ship. What are you rats doing? We asked. Nothing, he said. Then, Ratbeard said, Yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's chow time. He tossed a chunk of cheese at us. We took a whiff of the cheese. It did not smell good. No, thank you, we said. We know that the pirates have their own ship. We asked them where it was. We had a crash, said Ratbeard. What a shock! Our ship looks like trash now. Why not fix it? We asked. Why should we fix it? This one is much better. We want to take it. But the golden ship is not yours, we told the pirates. What makes you think you can just take it? Because we're rats, he said. Why not use cash to buy a new ship, we asked. Yo-ho, we are Pirates, said Ratbeard. We do not buy things. We take things. This golden ship will make us rich, said Ratbeard. Start the ship, Riley. Mm, what do I push to make it go? <laughs> Asked Riley. Riley! said Ratbeard. Let me do it. In his rush, Ratbeard whacked his shin. Yow! He said. I think we will take the ship some other day. We must dash off, Ratbeard told us. Thanks for the chat. The pirates left in a flash. Where did they go? We do not know. We do know that they will come back again.
and try to take the ship. Do you see what I see, reader? A question. Let's see if we can find the answer. The answer to this question. It's hidden somewhere in this book, and we need to click on it to find it. Where is the golden ship? Wordville. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. This question has an answer, and we're going to find it, Sam. Okay, reader. Let's start searching. Who has been seen hanging around the ship? That gang of pirates. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Look, reader, we've got another question to answer. Great. Let's look through these pages for the answer. What kind of animal are the pirates? Rats. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. Here's the question, Sam. Well, I'm ready to flip through these pages when you are. Why do the pirates want the golden ship? This one is much better. We want to take it. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Oh, boy. Another question to answer. Why didn't the pirates take the ship? Golden, that's not it, but a right answer is somewhere around here. The. Nope, I don't think that's the answer. Rich. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a right answer. In his rush, Ratbeard whacked his shin. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. This question has an answer, and we're going to find it, Sam. Okay, reader. Let's start searching. Who got hurt? Ratbeard. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Whoa, that was great. I'm Cat the Sea Lion. Wanna play follow the leader treasure hunt with me? Sure. What are we hunting for? A few surprises, but mostly books way down on the bottom of the sea. That's our kind of treasure, little lion. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll tell you where to go. Each time you find a word, you'll get closer and closer to the big treasure. Oh, and watch out for the puffer fish. You'll never know where they'll take you. Well, we're ready when you are. Flip 
open, please. I'm dizzy just watching her. Find a word in the in word family, like string. Wing. Yes. <laughs> Cool! That puffer fish took us closer to the books on the sea floor. Find a word in the unk word family, as in shrunk. Fly! 
Away from here, away up high. He made a ship. We took a plane, and then we found the land of Maine. Maine is grand. Oh, what a spot! Not too cold, and not too hot, not too big. And not too small, with lots and lots of room for all. We set our ship down with a plunk. Then Sampa said, "Bring all your junk. Just sling it." Fling it! With a clunk, we flung out each and every trunk. Sampa said, "This is our home, a land where strong, free lions roam." So here we are, and here we stay. We have a good time every day. So honk a horn, and clang a gong. Swing up high, sing a song. We are bold. We. Are strong. We are free. We live long. We are the lions of Maine. We need to find words that rhyme. The answer to this question it's hidden somewhere in this book, and we need to click on it to find it. Gong, song, strong, long. All right. Gunk, junk, cook, gunk. Well done. Play main. All right. Spot hot. Cool. Not well done. Small all. Small all right. Plunk junk club trunk. All right. Stay day. Cool. Go so long. Cool. That poem was fun to read. At last, you're back. There are more crabs to dress for tonight's festivities. Hey, uh, we aren't doing anything tonight, Rex. <laughs> That's nice. Now, let's get down to business, shall we? Spell the words I say by selecting the correct word parts from the fish above. I think this crab would look stunning in the word scram. Ah. Mm. Scram. That crab is looking good. This crab needs something special. We bet.
said to harm it. Let's find a word with sh, like in shoe, fish. That's it. Let's find a word with th, like in three or tooth. Let's find a word with th, like in three or tooth. Bath. Oh, yeah! Let's find a word with ch, like in chin or lunch. Check. That's right. Let's find a word with sh, like in shoe or cash. Shell. Yes! Let's find a word with th, like in three or tooth. Think that's it? Shimmering seashells, aren't you done dressing these guys yet? Hardly. Everything must be perfect for my celebration. So, let's see. I think this crab would look stunning in the word splash. Splash. That crab looks sharp. This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word strap? Put the next crab in the word strap. Strap, a fine looking crab. He can sit at my table. This little crab should wear the word spring. This crab must wear the word spring. 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 Nice outfit. I think this crab would look stunning in the word struck. This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word struck? Struck. Another designer crab. Put the next crab in the word strong. Mm. Strong. That crab is looking good. This little crab should wear the word scrap. Scrap. Another one ready for the party.
This crab must wear the word string. Eh. String. That crab looks sharp. I think this crab would look stunning in the word thrill. Eh. Thrill, a fine-looking crab. He can sit at my table. This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word stretch? Stir. Stretch. Nice outfit. Whistling whiskers. It's what we've been looking for. Let's read it. The Stranded Crown. Listen to, then repeat each study word. Rex. Look. Enough. Great. Belong. Catch. Crown. Island. Stretch. Splendid. Through. Splash! I will catch some good scraps for us. Yo-ho-ho! -ho! We struck! Gold! This is much better than scraps! What a thrill! You rats took my crown. This is the last straw. Give me that string. I will give you a thrill. You three are going on a trip. He is strong. For a fish. This is a great little island. And now you are stranded on it. Oh, no! We are through! What a splendid day! It is a thrill to fly in the spring. But what is that down there? I will take a look through this. I see... Three stranded pirates. What are they doing with Rex's crown? I bet they took it. Scram, you rats! I know that crown does not belong to you. That strap has a screw that can catch the crown. But I cannot stretch high enough. Got it! But how do I get it back to Rex? How should the lion get the crown back to Rex? Just what I was hoping for, reader. Another comic book panel to finish. Let's make it really funny.
Roaring raspberries! We did it! Whoa! That was great! Time to head back to the dream ship, Sam. Oh, good! We must be getting closer to... the land where lions roam free. you love floating around in all those bubbles? That was the best! And it looks like we can sail on to a new destination. Oh, I'm roaring with excitement! Ah. Roaring raspberries! I'm standing in the land where lions roam free! <laughs> oh! And look! A lion! Excuse me, sir. Sammy, my boy! <gasps> you know me? Of course! I'm your grandpa, Sampa! Mr. Sampa, are you the captain of the Golden Guppy? I suppose so, bunny boy. Not that she needs you, Captain. Got a mind of her own, that ship. She's in Wordville now. We'll take you there. Our dream ship flies on word power, Grandpa Sampa. Let's move the throttle to the correct words, and we'll be on our way. This time, we need to find five words with a specific long vowel sound. One way to make a long vowel sound is to add an E at the end of a word. When you add an E to the end of a word, it sends a secret signal to the vowel. The vowel changes and says its name, but the E stays silent. Let's see how it works. The A in cap makes the A sound, but add an E and cap becomes cape. See? The A says its name now. Let's find a word with the A sound, like in name. Cage. That's it! Let's find a word with the O sound, like in home. Hope. Oh, yeah! Let's find a word with the I sound, like in bike. Time. That's right! Let's find a word with the O sound, like in home. Rose. Yes! Let's find a word with the U sound, like in cute. Cube. That's it! My golden guppy. We found all the books, Grandpa. I'm proud of you, grandson. But the most precious book of all was here the whole time. My masterpiece. <laughs> save my book! We'll save it, Grandpa Sampa, if it's the last thing we do. Did you see how many chapters there were? Will we ever save Grandpa's book? Take a deep breath, Sam. I saw a chapter fly in the direction of your closet. Howling hyenas! More shirts is exactly what we need. If I wear clean green shirts, we'll find all the chapters. Whatever you say, Sam. First, let's find a word with the A sound, like in name, K. 
cage. Let's find a word with the O sound, like it odd. Nope. Hope. That's it. Let's find a word with the I sound, like in but time. Oh, yeah! Let's find a word with the O sound, like in home come. Not quite. Rose. Let's find a word with the U sound, like in cube. Yes! I don't have enough clean green shirts. We Good thing we're back. I was home. Close. Pride. Pride. Those. Great packing. Brave. Crate. Make. There you go, Sam. Three green shirt. Life. Peg. Is. Nine. Is. Is. Pride. Packed and ready. Oh, I'm gonna look handsome in these. Time to do a little more packing. Let's find three shirts with the same long vowel sound. Put shirts with the long O sound, as in cake, bone, space, cake, lime, grape. Ah, wrinkle-free is what I find. Lime. Hope. While. Three wash and wear shirts ready to go. Kid. Bone. Had. Hope. Stole. All right. Another full suitcase. Another suitcase. This time, let's go for green. Let's find three shirts with the same long vowel sound. Put shirts with the long A sound, as in name, here. Put shirts with the long U sound, as in cute, here. Put shirts with the long I sound, as in Bike here. Pile. Made. Made. Cute. Time. Mule. Place. 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 Quite. Great packing! Use. Place. Cute. Mule. There you go, Sam. Three green shirts. Place. Made. Tail. Run. Ma Roaring raspberries! One suitcase ready to go! I can't believe my eyes, reader! It's the first chapter of Grandpa Sampa's book! The tale begins! Listen to, then repeat each study word. Sure. Forever. Gone. Grandson, happy, search, everyone, thought, something, ready, flowers. 
This is the tale of a brave lion. The lion is about to make a trip to search for his grandson. This is not the first time he has made such a trip. He has been searching for his grandson for a long, long time. The lion is not sure how long he will be gone. He packs quite a lot of water and food on his ship. He packs five crates of cakes and ten boxes of grapes. He packs sacks of apples and a pile of cheese. At last, the ship is ready. The lion is off. I hope I find that baby lion this time, he thinks. But then he is not a baby anymore. I have not seen him in nine years. He was just a cub when he got lost. The old lion thinks back to the time when his grandson was a baby. They lived in gunk then. In those days, gunk was a nice place to live. In fact, gunk was a great home. Flowers grew in winter. In summer, apples fell from the trees. Best of all, there was enough space for everyone. The lions who lived there were very happy. The old lion and his grandson were very close. The cub always had a big smile for his grandpa. He had a cute face and a little nose. The old lion smiled as he thought of his fine cub. Life was fun for the cub. Every day he woke up ready for something new. The cub would pull himself up on a gate while Grandpa cut a prize rose for a vase. While Grandpa worked on his maps, the cub would play under the lime trees. In those days, life was all fun. Grandpa and the cub had a great life in gunk, but good times do not last forever. Soon, the old lion would have to make a trip. He would have to search for something. Bouncing bunnies! Looks like we get to add our own picture and writing to this book. What do you think we should write about? I'm not ready to go yet. Are you, Reader? Not quite. We haven't finished our... Wait, reader, we're not done yet. We're finished!
Roaring raspberries! We did it! Wow, Sam! I can't believe your grandpa actually wrote this! Yeah! <laughs> He's as brave and talented as me, don't you think? We found one chapter. Now I'm ready to check my basement for another. chapter from Sam's grandpa's book is down here. So that's what those papers were that flew by earlier? That could be the chapter. We can't leave without it. Then we better get searching. Let me know when to stop spinning. And remember, you must find a book that follows my rule. And don't forget about the book bats. We won't let those book bats take us down. Let's get started. Find a word with the I sound, as in five. Sight. Yes! Find a word with the U sound, as in cube. Cube. Yes, indeed! All right! A book bat that took us up in the right direction. Find a word with the O sound, as in bone. Robe. That's the one! Find a word with the A sound, as in game. Same. That's right! Find a word with the O sound, as in bone. Find a word with the I sound, as in five. Quite. Yes, indeed! Find a word with the A sound, as in Game. Cane. That's the one. Find a word with the I sound, as in big. Find a word with the I sound. Dim. That's right. flew down, and we want to get to the top of the basement. Find a word with the A sound, as in game. Vein. Yes! Find a word with the O sound, as in bone. Note. Yes, indeed! Find a word with the I sound, as in five. Quite. That's the one! Find a word with the A sound, as in cat. At. That's right! <laughs> Chapter two! Whoa! It's my lucky day! Change comes to gunk. Listen to, then repeat each study word. Head. Grow. Gleamed. Grew. Through. Around. Anything. Play. Anyone. House. Flying. The old lion spent many days on his ship. The ship rose and fell with the waves. 
the sea around him gleamed. He had lots of time to think about the old days in Gunk. Gunk was such a fine place then. You could do just about anything. You could buy a kit and make a kite. You could romp or roam. You could play for a bit, get a bite of pie, and then play some more. In Gunk, you could have pie any time you liked. Lions were not the only ones who lived in gunk. Monkeys lived there, too. The monkeys and the lions got along with each other. No one made anyone mad. There was enough space for everyone. Then change came to gunk. It began with one small hat. The hat was on the head of one small monkey. The monkey was not happy about the hat. I hate this hat, she said. She took off the hat and threw it down. I hope I never see it again. With a hop and a skip, the little monkey ran off. Soon, a big monkey came by with an old rug. He saw the hat. This must be a junk pile, he said. He threw the rug on top of the hat. Then a monkey came by on a very little bike. He said, I am too big to ride this old bike. I will put it on the junk pile. The junk pile began to grow. Soon the junk pile was as high as a house. I need to get rid of this old pan and this glass pane, said a monkey. But the junk pile is too high. What can I do? She began a new pile of junk. The new pile grew and grew. More monkeys came to gunk. They made more junk piles. The junk piles took up a lot of space. The lions were not happy. There is too much junk in gunk, they said. At this rate, we will have no room to roam. We need a new home, said one lion. We need a plane. We do not need a plane, said the old lion. We need a plan. We also need a flying ship. And I have both of those things. So the old lion took a pot from the pile, put it on his head, and came up with a plan. Reader, look! We can add to Sampa's story. What should we write? We could write anything. Maybe even something about how we love adventure, just like him.
We did a pretty good job, I'd say. Life in gunk really stunk. Are you ready to go, reader? I sure am. We have to rescue the rest. Let's swing back to the peaceful island. What word should we find now, reader? Let's find a word with R, like in car. Let's find a word with R, like in car. Sort. Try again. Let's find a word with R, like in car star. Oh, yeah! Let's find a word with er, like in germ. Arm. Nope. Let's find a word with er, like in germ. Arm. Not quite. Let's find a word with er, like in germ. That's right! Let's find a word with OR, like in horn. Corn. Yes! Let's find a word with ER, like in germ. Storm. Guess not! Let's find a word with er, like in jer turn. That's it! Let's find a word with air, like in chair. Hair. Oh, yeah! How do you like that? I finally meet my grandpa and poof, he's gone! We'll catch up with him, Sam. Not before we find all the chapters of his book, those pesky pirates. We'll find them, Sam. You'll see. Those chapters have to be around here somewhere. I bet they're not far, Sam. Let's look around. I bet you one of Grandpa's chapters is around here somewhere. Maybe we'll find it if we get to work catching peace nuts in the correct baskets to make complete words. One, two, three, peace nuts, let's go! Sweet! My! Drain. Sweet. Drain. My. Great work! See. Sky. Snail. Sea, snail, sky. That's right! Oops! Not a word!
Dry. Weak. Rain. Dry. We've got a word. One leaf platter down, two to go. Not a word. <laughs> Brain. Coat. Brain. Coat. Free. All right. Chain. Toast. Scene. Great work! Paint. Oak. Speed. Paint. Oak. Speed. That's right! Nourishing nuts! This one's done! <laughs> Guess not! Plain Soap Clean Plain Soap Clean We've got a word! Least Pain Float Trail Cloak Beach Trail Cloak Beach Great work! Great catching! Another full leaf platter. All right, we found another one of Grandpa's chapters. Old Lion Leaves Gunk. Listen to, then repeat each study word below. New book. Goodbye. Watch. Toasters. Things were bad in gunk. Monkeys had made piles of junk everywhere. One day, the lions met next to a pile of old toasters. We clean up one junk pile and another one takes its place. One lion said she ducked as a flying toaster hit the pile with a thunk. Then the oldest lion in gunk spoke up. We need to leave gunk, he said. I will take a trip in my flying ship. I will find us a dream home. The lion cub began to cry. Then the old the then the oldest lion in gunk spoke up. We need to leave gunk, he said. I will take a trip in my flying ship. I will find us a dream home. The lion cub began to cry. The old lion gave his grandson a pat on the cheek. Do not cry, he said. 
Grandpa will come back soon. Well, what do you think of my plan? The old lion asked. The lions thought for a while. They knew that the old lion was very wise. It is a deal, they said. Find us a place to roam, but watch out for pirates. The old lion fixed the leaks in his ship. He made sure his boat could float and fly. Then he loaded up the ship. He packed dry meat, sweet peas, green tea, and sixteen cans of peaches. He also threw in his maps and some books to read. At last. The day came for the old lion to leave. All the lions came to see him off. Speech, speech! They said, "I will sail the seas and fly through the sky." Said the old lion, "I will find a place where lions can roam free." The old lion set sail. He went high into the sky. The ship made good speed. Soon, Gunk was far below. After a while, it could not be seen at all. Soon. The ship was over land again. The lion saw oak trees and wide plains below. He also saw three railroad lines, five trains, and at least nine towns. Soon the ship was over land again. The lion saw. Oak trees and wide plains below. He also saw three railroad lines, five trains, and at least nine towns. That is a nice island, the lion said. But lions cannot roam there. Jumping jelly beans. Do you know what? Brave, great, sour, watermelon. Smell, we picked them, Sam. Gr Sword, funny. Night, whipped. Okay, shaving. Le white, we picked them, Sam. Grandpa Sampa does it again. That was the best chapter three I've ever read. You're back. Looking for another book? Chapters of a book, actually, written by my very own grandpa. Wow. Maybe that's what fell from the sky when that golden ship flew by. Say, you wouldn't mind helping on our wall building project again, would you? Not at all. Maybe then we'll find out where that chapter landed. Just match up the planks that have a similar vowel sound, then put them in the matching spot in the wall. Ready when you are, Dandy. Find three planks with the same vowel sound. Put planks with a er vowel sound, like bird, her, or turn, right here. Put planks with a r vowel sound, like large, right here. Put planks with a er vowel sound, like care. Hare or bear, right here. Star. Bird. 
Dark. Bear. Art. Swirl. Art. Oops. Guess those planks don't fit there. Dark. Star. Art. Glare. Dark. Bird. Dark. Bear. Bird. Crust. Glare. Born. First. Scare. All right. One section is complete. Born. Act. Swirl. Find three planks with the same vowel sound. Put planks with the er vowel sound like bird. Swirl. Act. Born. First. Crust. Bird. Wow! Another one done! It's time to do some more building. Find three planks with the same vowel sound. Put planks with the air vowel sound like care, hair, or bear right here. Put planks with the er vowel sound like bird, her, or turn right here. Put planks with the or vowel sound like born right here. Hurl. Find three planks with the same vowel sound. Put planks with the or vowel sound. Find three planks with the same vowel sound. Put planks with the er vowel sound like bird. Air. Turn. Chair. Hurt. Great building. Pear. Melt. Air. Plump. Chair. Raft. Find three planks with the same vowel sound. Put planks with the or vowel sound like born right here for north bark north worn wow what a great wall another wall bring on the planks Find three planks with the same vowel sound. Put planks with the air vowel sound like care, hair, or bear right here. Put planks with the or vowel sound like born right here. Put planks with the er vowel sound like bird, her, or turn right here. Fern. Pear. Or. Thorn. Fern. We need to find three with the same... I don't think those three go together. Short. All right. One section is complete. Bear. Hard. Pear. Drink. Verb. Wear. Great building. Drink. Hard. Fern. Find three planks with the same vowel sound. Put planks with the er vowel sound like bird, her verb. Mint. Her. 
Woohoo! We did it! Check it out! A chapter from Grandpa Sampa's book. The first stop. Listen to, then repeat each study word. Full. Next. Toward. Walk. Dandelions. Friends. Instead. Morning. Tall. Everything became The old lion was flying high in the air. He was going east. Soon he wished he were going north or west instead. Why? Because large hunks of cheese began to hit the deck. It is the pirates, thought the old lion. How dare they hurl cheese at me! You cannot scare me, yelled the lion with a glare. Did the pirates care? No! They threw another chunk of cheese! Bam! The old lion took a firm grip on the wheel as the ship spun around. Far below, he saw an island. Then everything became a blur. The ship was going down. The ship hit the water hard. Sea water swirled over the deck. The old lion turned the ship's wheel toward the island. The next thing he knew, the ship hit the sand with a thud. The mast was bent and the ship had a dent, but the old lion was not hurt. He got out and looked around. The island was full of plants. There were short ferns and tall ferns. There were roses with thorns and roses without thorns. Big vines curled up into the trees. It began to get dark. The old lion was worn out. He set up camp and went to bed. The next morning, the lion took a walk. He found a pear tree, and he ate two pears. Then he saw another kind of pear. It was a pair of plants. The old lion stared at them. They were like no plants he had ever seen. These plants could walk and talk. The plants had thin green stems. Each one had a head full of fluff. They were picking nuts from a nut tree. Hello, the lion said. Can you tell me the name of this island? Hello, sir, said one little plant. She gave a twirl. You have landed in Peacemont. I am Tuft, and this is Bud. What nice fur you have. Are you a bear? asked Bud. No, I am a lion said the old lion. We are lions too, said Tuft. We are dandelions. The old lion spent all day helping the dandelions. He found out a lot of things about them. They are good at art. They like to sing. They like to eat nuts. 
Piecemont is great, said the old lion, but I must leave soon. I have to find a home for my lion friends. Okay, said Bud and Tuft, but let us fix your ship. Soon the ship was ready to go. The old lion was ready too. Come back soon, the dandelion said as the ship rose into the air. Reader, are you ready to look for more answers? I'm ready and raring to go. The answer to this question. It's hidden somewhere in this book, and we need to click on it to find it. What direction was the lion flying? East. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. Look, Reader, we've got another question to answer. Great. Let's look through these pages for the answer. Why did he wish that he was flying in another direction? Because large hunks of cheese began to hit the deck. We found it! We did it! There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Here's the question, Sam. Well, I'm ready to flip through these pages when you are. Who caused this problem for the lion? The Pirates. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. Oh, boy. Another question to answer. What did the lion eat for breakfast? Cheese. Nope. Pear. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a right. Nut. That's not it. But a right answer is somewhere around here. Nuts. Nope, I don't think that's the answer. Pear. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a right answer. Nuts. That's not it. But a right answer is somewhere around.
nuts. Nope, I don't think that's the answer. Thorns. Hmm. Roses. That's not it. But a right answer is somewhere around here. What did the lion eat for breakfast? Two. Pears. We found it! We did it! There's no question we'll leave unanswered. This question has an answer. And we're going to find it, Sam. Okay, reader. Let's start searching. Who did... Plants. Nope, I don't think that... Plants. Hmm, that doesn't sound... Bud. That's not it. But a right answer is somewhere around here. B Bud. Hmm. Tuft. That's not it. But a right answer is somewhere around here. Tuft. Nope. I don't... Bud. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a... Plants. That's not it. A. Pair. Of. Plants. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. Look, reader. We've got another question to answer. Great. These plants could walk. And talk. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Ooh, that was good. I can't wait to find another chapter and see what happens next. I bet we can learn my... We're hot on the trail. Let's head to Harmony. Reader, what type of word are we looking for? Let's find a word with oi, like in boil or toy. Load. Nope. Boy, that's it. Let's find a word with ow, like in noun or brown. Down. Oh, yeah! Let's find a word with ah, like in jaw. Hawk. That's right! Let's find a word with oo, like in school, room. Yes! Let's find a word with uh. Like in took. Book. That's it. I hope your grandpa is doing okay with those pesky pirates. Okay? Huh. A strong, brave adventurer like Grandpa Sampa probably has those pirates swabbing the decks and fluffing his mane by now. That's quite a thought, Sam. Well, if it isn't Sam, the so-called lion, and his rabbit pal back again.
Rex, have you seen anything unusual floating by? You mean those chunks of paper with strange markings that drifted down? No, not really. Uh, thanks, Rex. Uh, reader, let's find Grandpa's lost chapters. Still dressing up the crabs, Rex? Yes. Everything must be perfect for my celebration. So, do you think that one of those chunks of paper might have drifted down here? Anything is possible, I suppose. All I know is that you can select word parts from those fish to spell the word I want the next crab to wear. What word is that, Rex? This little crab should wear the word squirt. This crab must wear the word squirt. squirt. I think this crab would look stunning in the word squirt. This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word squirt? something wrong about that word. Put the next crab in the word. Er. Squirt. That crab is looking good. This little crab should wear the word third. Another one ready for the party. This crab must wear the word whirl. I think this crab. This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word whirl? Oh. Whirl. That crab looks sharp. Put the next crab in the word Burst. This little crab should wear the word burst. 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 A fine looking crab. He can sit at my table. This crab must wear the word born. I think this crab would look stunning in the word born.
This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word born? No, that's not what I was thinking. Put the next crab in the word born. This little crab should wear the word born. This crab must wear the word born. Mm. Born. Nice outfit. I think this crab would look stunning in the word arm. Arm. Another designer crab. This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word bark? I can't put my fin on it. But that outfit doesn't look quite right. Put the next crab in the word bark. This little crab should wear the word bark. This crab must wear the word bark. I think this crab would look stunning in the word bark. Bark. That crab is looking good. This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word dart? Dart. Another one ready for the party. Put the next crab in the word harm. Harm. That crab looks sharp. This little crab should wear the word shark. Shark, a fine looking crab. He can sit at my table. Grandpa Sampa's chapter. Let's read it, reader. A trip to harmony. Listen to, then repeat each study word. Lights. Show. School. Learn. Patch. Straight. Flu. Everywhere. Squids. Catfish. Dogfish.
The old lion had just left Peacemont. His ship was flying north. He looked at the sea far below. He saw a large patch of kelp. Lions are everywhere, he thought. First, there were dandelions in Peacemont. Now, there is kelp in the shape of a lion. Just then, the old lion smelled a rat. A pirate! I do not want them to hurt my ship again, he said. It is a good thing my ship can fly under water. He gave a hard turn of the wheel. With a burst of speed, the ship went straight down into the sea. It was dark under the sea. Dim shapes swirled and whirled all around. The old lion turned on the ship lights. A shark gave the lion a cold stare as it swam by. A sea star gave a little wave of an arm. There was a squirt of ink as a pair of squids went by. The old lion saw a fish dart in and out of the kelp. The fish had spines that looked like a mane. He wore a crown. What kind of fish are you? asked the lion. The fish gave a huge roar. I am a lion fish. Lions really are everywhere, said the old lion. I am Rex, the king of the kelp forest, roared the fish. What are you doing here? I mean no harm, said the old lion. I am looking for a place where lions have room to roam. I roam where I please, said Rex. Nothing scares me. Not even sharks. I was born brave. You are a lion then, said the old lion. Harmony is my kingdom, said Rex. I will show you around, then you can go. They saw a school of very smart fish. They saw a catfish that could purr, and a dogfish that could bark. At last, the old lion turned to Rex. I must start my search again. Well, you cannot stay here, said Rex. Harmony is right for one lion, and that is me. That is okay, said the old lion. It would be hard for lions like us to live under water. So the old lion flew his ship up through the water and into the air. Jumping jelly beans! Do you know what this is, Sam? More words to pick for silly stories. The sillier, the better. Which four should we pick? Spooky, an octopus, handshake, raced. Let's turn. Main. Loud. Pink dress. Furry coat. Roar! Weep!
Sam, your grandpa's story keeps getting better and better. You're back! Let's play! We'd sure like to, but we're looking for a chapter from a book. It's kind of important. So that's what I saw float down there. Roaring raspberries! In that case, we are definitely playing. Yippee! Find the words that follow my rules while you are moving down to the seafloor. And don't forget about the puffer fish. You'll never know which direction they'll send you. Blustering bunnies! If we don't make her stop and tell us where to go, she's going to get dizzy. Blustering bunnies! Find a word with the vowel sound OI, as in choice. Royal. Yes! Find a word with the vowel sound OO, as in moose. School. Good pick. Find a word with the vowel sound uh, as in wolf. Shook. All right. Find a word with the vowel sound oo, as in moose. Boot. Moving right along. Find a word with the vowel sound OI, as in choice. Boy. That's it. Find a word with the vowel sound OO, as in moose. Fool. Yes. <laughs> Too bad that puffer fish took us up. We need to go down to the sea floor. Find a word with the vowel sound ah, as in straw or sauce. Ah, as in straw. Squawk. Good pick. Find a word with the vowel sound uh, as in wolf. As in woof. Shook. All right. Find a word with the vowel sound ow, as in sprout or pow. Trout. Moving right along. Find a word with the vowel sound oo. As in moose. Fool. That's it. Cool. That puffer fish took us closer to the books on the sea floor. Find a word with the vowel sound oo, as in moose. Proof. Yes. Find a word with the vowel sound ah, as in straw or sauce. Vaughn. Good pick. Look. It's one of the chapters. See? I told you it was down here. A home is found. Listen to, then repeat each study word. Almost. Eyes. Laugh. Funny. Squawk. Animals. Rubbed. Volt. Sorry. Begun. Something. A home is found. Listen to, then repeat 
Each study word. Almost. Eyes. Laugh. Funny. Squawk. Animals. Rubbed. Vault. Sorry. Begun. Something. It was dawn on a cool morning. On his ship, high in the clouds, the old lion yawned. He rubbed his eyes with his paws. Then he hoisted a sail. Soon he was flying south. The lion looked down and began to laugh. That is funny, he said. That island looks like a lion. Just then, there was a loud squawk near the lion's ear. The sound almost made him vault off his ship. Sorry, it is my fault. Said a voice. The old lion looked around. A hawk was on a pole right by his head. The hawk held out a claw. My name is Scout. Said the bird. I do not mean to snoop, but why are you here? I am looking. For a land with room to roam, said the old lion, and I may have found it. He pointed down. I want to take a look around that island. Scout was not shy, so he asked, "May I join you? I can tell you about the island." Sure," said the lion. He flew his ship down to the ground. The old lion got out of the ship and looked around. He saw hills and plains and grass and trees. Who lives here? He asked. A few animals, but. Not too many," said Scout. "An owl lives in the woods, and some trout live in the brook. However, there are no crowds or towns." Scout took the lion all around the island. The old lion saw a place to make a fort. He saw places with good soil where plants grow and flowers bloom. I have found it at last. This is the land where proud lions will soon roam free. The old lion jumped for joy. The old lion ran to his ship. I must get the other lions, he said. Will you know how to get back here? Asked Scout. With a frown. Good point, the lion said. I will draw a map. He began to draw. His map showed gunk where he had begun his trip. It showed Peacemont and harmony. Does this island have a name? The old lion asked. No, said Scout. Then I will give it one, said the lion. This island looks like a lion. This island is full of things that are good for lions, so its name should be something lions are proud of.
our mains. From now on, this island will be called Maine. Reader, it's question time again. Well, Sam, let dawn on a cool morning. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. Oh, boy. Another question to answer. What part of the passage shows that the lion is still tired? Yawned. He rubbed his eyes with his paws. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. This question has an answer. And we're going to find it, Sam. Okay, reader. Let's start searching. What does the island look like? A. Lion. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. Look, reader. We've got another question to answer. Great. Let's look through these pages for the answer. What did the lion hear? A. Loud. Squawk. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Here's the question, Sam. Well, I'm ready to flip through these. Hawk. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a right answer. A. Hawk. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. Oh, boy. Another question to answer. Scout. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Sam, your grandpa is positively inspirational. Just like me. I bet the crabs have another one of Grandpa's chapters buried somewhere under the sand. Well, there's only one way to find it. Rex, what would you like your next guest to wear? This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word, grow? Oh. Grow. Nice outfit. Put the next crab in the word flu. Ooh. Flu. Another designer crab. This little crab should wear the word bright. Eh. I. Bright. That crab is looking good. This crab must wear the word head. D. Head. Another one ready for the party. I think this crab would look stunning in the word high. I. High. That crab looks sharp. Uh, 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 uh,
This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word goes? Put the next crab in the word goes. Goes, a fine looking crab. He can sit at my table. This little crab should wear the word skies. Skies. Nice outfit. I think this crab would look stunning in the word blue. Ooh. Blue. Another designer crab. This crab needs something spectacular. How about the word sight? I. Sight. That crab is looking good. Put the next crab in the word fruit. Fruit. Another one ready for the party. Grandpa Sampa's chapter. Let's read it, reader. The flight to gunk. Listen to, then repeat each study word. Above. Carry. Warm. Growl. Can't. The old lion was ready to leave Maine. I can't wait to tell the other lions my news, he said. At last, I have found the right home for us. Have a good flight, said Scout. The skies were bright and blue as the old lion flew off. Back in gunk, the lions waited. The old lion was due back from his trip. High above, a flying ship came into sight. The cub saw it first. He pointed up and made a happy growl. The other lions looked up. Two. It is the cub's grandpa, they cried. The news spread fast. All the lions went to meet the ship. The old lion picked up the cub and patted his 
head. You have grown, he said. How was your trip? One lion asked. Did you find us a new home? Asked another. I will tell you everything, the old lion said. The old lion spread out his map. Yes, I found a new home for us, he said proudly. It is the island of Maine. In Maine, there are hills and plains and fruit trees. The sun is warm. And the sky is bright blue. Best of all, Maine has lots and lots of room. The lions wanted to know everything about Maine. Are there flying toasters in Maine? Asked one lion. Is there junk there? Asked another. Can we roam anywhere we like? A little lion wanted to know. The lion said, No flying toasters! No junk! And yes, we can roam high and low. When can we move to Maine? asked the lions. In a few days, said the lion. We will see how it goes. First, I have to make a ship big enough to carry us all. I need to pick a crew. And you need to pack. Pack everything. Because we may never come back. The lions went to work. What should we write about this time? Sam, your grandpa's story keeps getting better and better. Time to head back to the dream ship, Sam. Hold on, Grandpa Sampa. We almost have your entire book. We're closing in on the final chapter, Sam. Hurry! The guppy is stalking in the land where lions roam free. If we want to land, we need to find five words with a certain number of syllables. What's a syllable? A syllable is a word or a part of a word. Syllables contain only one vowel sound. 
The word dog has one syllable, but the word puppy has two. What word should we find now, reader? Let's find a one-syllable word like hot. Final. Try again. Cream. Yes. Let's find a two-syllable word like happy. Toast. Nope. Clean. Not quite. Army. That's it. Let's find a one-syllable word like hot. Let's find a one-syllable word like hot. Light. Oh, yeah! Let's find a two-syllable word like happy. Deal. Guess not. Bacon. That's right. Let's find a one-syllable word like hot. Yes! We're almost there, reader. Bring on those pirates! Just as soon as we find the last three chapters, Sam, then we'll deal with those pesky pirates. Great galoshes! The pirates have taken over Grandpa Sampa's fortress. Never fear! Reader and Sam are here. Come on, Sam. Let's go reclaim your grandpa's home. Keep your eye on those cubs. Each cub has a word. And when they put them together, they'll make a whole new word. A compound word. Cub 1 has the word back. And cub 2 adds the word pack. What do you get? The compound word, backpack. It looks like the cubs are making words with prefixes. What's a prefix? It's a group of letters you add to the beginning of a word that changes the word's meaning. Like this. Start with the prefix un, which can mean not. Then add the word happy. You get the word unhappy, which means not happy. Now cub 1 starts with the prefix un. Cub 2 adds the word clear. Put them together and you get unclear, which means not clear. A suffix is a letter or group of letters added to the end of a word that changes that word's meaning. Look! Cub 1 starts with the word color. Then cub 2 adds the suffix full, which means a lot of. Put them together and you get the word colorful, which means having a lot of color. Let's see what happens when we use a different suffix. Cub 1 starts with the word color again, but Cub 2 adds a different suffix this time. He adds less, which can mean without. Put them together, you get the word colorless 
which means having no color, the opposite of colorful. It sure is a long way up, reader. Okay, Paige, where should we start? It looks like we're going to need some footholds. You can start by breaking each compound word stone into two smaller stones, each with its own word. Sounds like a plan. My pick is ready. Backpack. Yeah! Weekend! Week! End! That's it! Pancake! Pan! Cake! Up we go! Daylight! Day, light, that's it. Raindrop. Rain, drop, got it. Bluebird. Blue, bird, got it. Let's climb. Whistling whiskers! Great work, Sam! Unfortunately, Paige, Sam's made a mess of this wall. Fortunately, I've collected the word stones so we can put the wall back together. Good thinking, reader. When we fill each hole with two word stones to make a compound word, Sam will give us a ride up the wall. to go! Campfire! That's it! Okay, compound word stones. I'm going to use my pick to break you apart into two different words. Bedroom. Bed. Room. Yes! Snowman. Snow. Man. That's it. Bone. Back. Bone. Up we go. Birthday. Birthday. Yes. Fireman. Whoop. 
Fire. Man. Got it. Sailboat. Sail. Boat. Got it. Heading up. We have word stones and we know how to use them. Let's get filling. I have to find two words that can go together to make a compound word. Mailman, way to go! Peanut, that's it! Cage. Great work! Sandbox. Sounds good to me! to go! Whoa! Another chapter of Sampa's book! A new homeland. Listen to, then repeat each study word. Young. Dear. Surprise. At last, it was time to leave gunk. The lions met at sunrise. The old lion had made a huge ship to take them to Maine. There were so many things to put on the ship. There were teapots and toolboxes. There were backpacks and bird baths. There was even a bathtub. All of the lions got onto the ship. There were grandmas and grandpas, moms and dads, and cubs of all sizes. Is everyone ready to go? asked the old lion. His grandson was not ready to go. A baseball had rolled off the ship. The cub ran after it. The lions did not see the cub run off. The ship left without him. A seagull came by. You are so small, she said to the cub. Who do you belong to? The cub did not say anything. Oh dear, you are not old enough to talk said the seagull. You are too young to be alone, said the seagull. Someone needs to take care of you. The seagull thought for a bit. I know some place where you will be happy and safe, she said. Hop on my back. I will take you there.
Meanwhile, the lions were on their way to Maine. They flew over Peacemont and saw a rainbow. They flew over Harmony and saw seaweed in the shape of a lion head. They ate popcorn and took snapshots. They reached Maine at sunset. Our island has the shape of a lion head too. The lions said, "What a great surprise!" The lions got off the ship. We like our new homeland. They said there is not much daylight left. Said the old lion, "We should look for firewood. My grandson loves campfires. Where is he, by the way? No one knew." Each lion had thought the cub was with someone else. The lions searched everywhere. They looked inside the ship. They searched the island from the seashore to the treetops. The lion cub was nowhere. My grandson is somewhere," said the old lion. "I will not rest until I find him." Oh boy! It looks like we get to ride again. Like to write, just like your grandpa. Oh, that was so good! Pirates, stand back. We're on our way. Back off, rabbit! <laughs> oh no! A pirate has taken over. How about using the flying fur balls to build a bridge across the moat? Brilliant, Paige. Thank you, reader. Small words are on the fur balls. We can use them to make compound words. Yeah, we're experts with compound words. That fur ball doesn't fit there. That fur ball doesn't fit there. That fur ball doesn't fit there.
That fur ball doesn't fit there. Backbone. That's a great word. We're getting closer! That fur ball doesn't fit there. That fur ball We're getting closer! <laughs> that fur ball... A great word. On 
to Chow Haircut. We are getting close. Raincoat. That's a great word. We are getting closer! That's it! Let's cross these fur balls! Okay, Sam. This time, break the words apart into syllables. With my trusty pick, I can do just about anything. Silent. Sigh. Lent. Yes! Tractor. Try breaking the rock in another spot. Track. Tur. Hmm, that's not right. Track. Tur. A syllable is a word. Track. Tur. Yeah. Bay. B. Up we go. I guess not. Hid. Den. Hid. Den. Yes! Until. Until. Got it. Pencil. Pen. So. That's it. Here we go. It's time to put these syllables back into words so we can move up the wall. Pick ready to break these words apart into syllables, Sam? Never readier. Let's do it. Jacket. No. Try again. Jack. Cat. Jack. Cat. Got it. Begin. Begin. 
Begin. That's it. Atlas. At less. Up we go. Motor. Motor. Yes. Subject. Subject. That's it. Navy. Nay. V. That's it. Ready, reader? We're going up. Great. Let's get to work. It's time to put these syllables back into words so we can move up the wall. Happy. Sounds good to me. Major. All right. to go! Beyond! That's it! The search begins. Listen to, then repeat each study word. Hear, sense, together, yellow, circles, lose, missing, don't. There was a major problem in Maine. The old lion's grandson was missing. At first, the lions thought that the cub had hidden somewhere. They looked under blankets and in baskets. Where are you? they called. Will you come out for a donut? All was silent. The old lion was upset. He ran around in circles like a chicken. Call out the army! Call out the navy! he cried. My baby grandson is lost. We do not have an army or a navy, said the other lions. That doesn't matter, said the old lion. We have to find him. The old lion took a yellow pencil out of his pocket and began to take notes. When did we last see the cub? he asked. No one has seen him since we left Gunk, said a lion. That is it, said the old lion. He must still be there. I must return to Gunk right away. 
There was not a moment to lose. The old lion put on a jacket and jumped onto his flying ship. He flew straight to Gunk. He did not even stop for dinner. Gunk was just the same. There was junk everywhere. The lion landed next to a pile of old motors and tractors. The old lion began to search for the cub. He met a monkey. I have lost a cub, said the lion. He might be in danger. Have you seen him? Yes, said the monkey. He was not in danger. He was very happy. He and a seagull flew away together. I don't know where they went. The old lion was happy to hear that the cub was safe. Where should I look next? he asked. I don't know where to begin. The monkey gave him a book of maps. Try this atlas, he said. I found it in a junk pile. Thanks, said the lion. I must go. He flew off into the sunny sky. Reader, are you ready to look for more answers? I'm ready and ready to go. The answer to this question. It's hidden somewhere in this book, and we need to click on it to find it. Who did the old lion meet while searching for his cub? Lions. Nope, I don't think that's the answer. Other. Hmm, that Lions. That's not it. The. Nope. Lions. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a right answer. A. Monkey. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Oh, boy. Another question to answer. Which sentence best shows that the lion is very worried about the cub? He might be in danger. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. This question has an answer. And we're going to find it, Sam. Okay, reader. Let's start searching. Where did the cub go? He and a seagull flew away together. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Look, reader, we've got another question to answer. Great! Let's look through these pages for the answer. How did the lion feel? Happy. Great work, Sam! We've answered the question. Here's the question, Sam. Well, I'm ready to flip through these pages when you are. What is another name for a book of maps? Atlas. We found it. We did it. There's no question we'll leave unanswered. Oh, boy. 
Another question to answer. Where did the monkey find the atlas? Found it in a junk pile. Great work, Sam. We've answered the question. That was the best. When will you ever learn this? <laughs> Be pirate territory now. Not for long. Come on, reader. Let's move those syllables and start building. That furball... Begin. Yes! Another word! That fur... We're getting close. That fur. That fur. Q. 
simple. Yes! Another word! That's it! Let's cross these fur balls! Well, here we go again! How should I break the word stones apart this time, Paige? Prefixes, Sam. Break the word stones into two parts. The prefix and the word it's attached to. Reread. Re read. Yeah. Dislike. Dislike. Yes. Un. Un. Re paint. Uncombed. Yeah. Non stop. Great work. Unclean. Distaste. All right. Unsafe. Reach. Rejoin. Great work. I'm done, Sam. Prefixes. Get. Pre game. The search continues. Listen to, then repeat each study word. Open, asleep, favorite, though. The old lion left gunk. He looked down at its junk piles with distaste. The monkeys are nice, he thought, but those junk piles should be illegal. They are unclean and unsafe. The lion was unsure about where to go next. He rechecked the atlas. I will go west, he said. As he flew, the old lion thought about his grandson. I know I will find him, he thought. There are so many things we will do together. I will take him to preschool. I will reread his favorite books to him. We could even revisit Gunk if he wants to. The old lion flew for many hours. I will not let myself fall asleep, he said. I must search nonstop. He splashed water on his face to refresh himself, but it was impossible to keep his eyes open during the pre-dawn hours. The lion grew very tired. He fell asleep. 
the lands below floated by unseen. The lion woke up above harmony. He saw Rex the lionfish. This is most irregular, roared Rex. What do you want? I thought my lion cub might be here, said the old lion. Nonsense! I am the only lion in harmony, said the impolite lionfish. Goodbye. The old lion flew to many lands. In each place, he retold the story of his lost grandson. No one had seen the cub. The lion searched. For a long time, he was tired. His mane was uncombed. He was almost out of food. It was time to rejoin the lions of Maine. The old lion landed on Maine. Did you find the cub? The lions asked. No. Said the old lion. He began to unload his ship. I will not stop looking, though. I need to fix my ship. I need to reseal the bottom and repaint the top. Then I will repack and be on my way again. The old lion was unlucky on that first trip. Through the years, he made many more trips to search for the cub. He still searches for the cub today. Nine years have passed. The old lion knows every land near and far, except for one. That must be out there, somewhere. What should we write about this time? I'm not ready to go yet. Are you, Reader? Not quite. We haven't finished our story. We're finished. Your grandpa is quite a storyteller, Sam. Now, in the name of Grandpa Sampa, let's reclaim the fortress. Those flying fur balls aren't gonna stop us. Hurry! Let's start creating contractions. <laughs> that fur ball. Reader, we need to move pairs of fur balls together to make contractions. And fast! <laughs> Each fur ball has a word on it. If we put the right fur balls together, 
Nine. We're getting close. A great word. That fur ball doesn't fit there. That fur ball. We're getting closer! Haven't. That's a great word! We're getting closer!
Wait. Was it? Ready, Paige. What are we doing? We're breaking word stones in two again, Sam. This time, break off the suffix at the end of the word it's attached to. I'll try my best. Bowl full. Bowl full. Yeah. Spot less. Yeah. Skill, full, that's it! Age, less, got it! Going up! Let's put these suffixes together with their words so we can move on up the rock. Attach a suffix to a word. Nameless. Illness. Sounds good to me. Okay, Sam, you're good to go. Suffixes, stand back and let's break. I can all. Ness, that's it. Quick, Lee. Useless. Searching for you for years, and now that I've found you, my book will be complete. I love happy endings.
Congratulations! You've completed the adventure. Would you like to play again?